Peace be with you. Welcome back to the channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is the first time that you're coming across my channel, I just want to greet you by saying, hey there, hi there, and hello there. You are more than welcome to like the video, share the video, not like the video, laugh a little bit, comment, not comment. Listen, whatever you feel that you need to do, I support the energy. What I hope that you do is that you come in with your higher self so that way you will know what messages are for you and what is not for you. Please leave that for somebody else to take. The worst thing ever is somebody assuming that a message is for them when it's not. When it's not, please don't do that to yourself. Listen, nine times out of 10, you're not here by coincidence and or accident. There's a 99.9% .9 chance the spirit does have some type of message here for you, right? If you've been really sitting with your higher self, if you've been really doing that spiritual work, about that spiritual work, eight, eight, lines, gate, listen, then nine times out of 10, you're going to get some type of a confirmation, either about yourself, something that you could have intuitively already felt and or knew before you came to the reading. Or somebody that you're questioning and or wondering about. I pray that Archangel Raphael brings other healing angels so that you can be able to accept the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you, Most High God. Listen, I'm going to need you to come on in. If you're returning back to the channel, where you are my beautiful soul tribe, this is a channeled message reading for my beautiful Capricorns. What's up, my beautiful Capricorn gang, gang, gang? Every time I open up the door for y'all, I just want to laugh. I don't know why I want to laugh. Like I get a lot of comedic energy by way of the Capricorn energy. Hi, Cappy. Hi, Caps. <laughs> Somebody's like, don't call me Cap. That person's born on January 4th, by the way. I don't know who you are, but that's just the way that my gift works. Listen, I'm going to go ahead and open up this door. I'm calling on the highest of white light. I've already set with my higher self. I hope you have too. I'm bringing in my spirit team. I pray you bring yours in too. Come on in. Have some iced coffee. Have a little pomegranate juice. Maybe you want a wheatgrass shot. I don't know, my beautiful Capricorn. Listen, somebody's going to eat some sauteed spinach. Okay, listen. Cappy. Holy Spirit, divine ancestors, only of the highest of white light on the 8-8 Lion's Gate energy check. Show me, Cappy, Cappy, you out here in love. Cappy, you could be getting a new job. Cappy, you got choices. What is going on? Cappy, Cappy, Cappy. Cappy, hello there. Hello there, Cappy. <laughs> Cappy came out in one, two, three, four, five, six cards. She's like, let's get this out the way. Okay, Cappy, no pressure. Okay, let me take a little pressure off myself. You about your work. You could be getting like some type of new job or you're moving into something that is new by way of your gifts, something that really brings you joy. I just heard you are a master, like something you're really good at. Like you've mastered whatever this technique is, this job. You could be a spiritual practitioner. Eight of Pentacles on the eight, eight has been very consistent for all signs of the divine collective. You could have new love, Cappy. You finally could have made a choice about love. Something real significant about love, y'all. The lion of Judah, the lion has been loosed. The lion is out the mother freaking gates. A Leo could be significant, but don't necessarily have to be. King of Cups, you could be starting something new with a Scorpio, a Pisces, and or a Cancer. I just heard Scorpio. Okay, the Hierophant is here. This means marriage. This is giving me marriage. This is giving me spiritual. This is giving me being about some type of spiritual work. Yeah, you got options. You could have had choices in what you wanted to do by way of love and work. Spirit says you've been so patient 
in waiting for that which you deserve that the universe is about to gift you with more than what it is that you've asked for, okay? You could be literally ignoring somebody <laughs> and you don't feel bad about it. You just feel like, hold up, y'all. Let me straighten up the camera, y'all. Okay, how is that? Because I don't like the camera shaking. Listen, you could have had to get into the Queen of Swords energy on somebody and cut their ass off. And I don't even feel like you feel bad about it. This could have been really hard. Yeah, the person could be trying to communicate with you, calling you, FaceTiming you. This person's in heavy regret. Somebody play some mind games. I just heard, okay, the cards are, I'm, listen, I'm just getting clear audience right now. It could have been a fire sign, a Sagittarius, okay, Capricorn. And somebody's trying to communicate with you. Yeah, I can't make it up. Ace of Swords, as you walking in the truth, somebody's in heavy regret for missing an opportunity with you. Could have also been a, I don't know why I'm getting Sagittarius. November, Sagittarius, yeah. Or something close to November, like right at the end of November, early December, Sagittarius. Somebody is trying to communicate with you and you like, mm-mm. You made a decision in love. You made a decision in work, work ethics. Something that you could have been waiting on. I just heard you're going to get double for your trouble. Are you waiting on some type of lawsuit? Some type of payout? Is a lawyer involved? Something? Oh, why am I getting these downloads? My energy is real clean right now, y'all. So what I'm getting is crispy, crispy clean, okay? Listen, yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. you're not being quiet about it either somebody was exposed for being sneaky and deceptive the seven of swords in reverse you caught somebody up in their lies you're you're taking a leap of faith in an entirely new direction you like no nah, i'm good you could have really felt like this was the one it could have been a hard relationship to break um, this hierophant gives me marriage. Maybe you're going through some type of divorce, but whatever it is, you're at peace about it. You've manifested something completely different by way of energy, by way of work, by way of money, by way of the eight, eight lion's gate. Okay, Cappy, you're giving somebody an offer and somebody's accepting your offer. This is beautiful. You call somebody up in a lie. The wheel is turning and churning in your favor. This could have been really hard for you to heal from. Yeah, somebody wants to apologize. I think you're like, no, it's good. You know, hey, listen. Yeah, bye. You really don't want to talk to this person. I feel like this person felt as though you would always pick up the phone for them. Right? This is how I feel. Show me this person. What am I seeing for Kathy under this 8-8 eight, eight, Lion's Gate? Yeah, what am I seeing for Kathy? What are they manifesting? Yeah, yeah, listen. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Listen, Kathy. Yeah, you're going towards some type of divine union. For my divine feminine Capricorns, you're coming up as the Empress. Very loving, kind, genuine. You're wanting to give this to somebody. You're like, you know what? I don't want to be by myself. Yeah, you really gave it some thought. I think whoever this person was, you could have given them some type of feeling that you would always be there. I just heard this person suffering in silence, heavy regret. Somebody got caught up in their lies, Cappy. You could have had another Capricorn that did something. Listen, let me just tell you something. Commercial break. Whoever these low vibrational Capricorns are, you're like, oh, you're really making us look bad. We're going to need you to get it together. Like you, you're disgusted and you left their ass behind. Somebody got Capricorn in their chart. I'm getting December 8th. Okay. You could be in the limelight, whoever you are, Capricorn. The star an Aquarius could be significant. I'm getting water, water. Scorpio, Pisces, and or Cancer, new lover coming into your life. Empress is here, okay? If you're a divine masculine, Capricorn, you're going towards what appears to be possibly 
by way of this Libra energy, by way of this King of Cups and October Scorpio, this person could be in the limelight. This person could have a platform like myself. This person could be a spiritual practitioner. You manifested this person. Something was telling you that when you met this person, there was something really special about this person. This is a divine union. Yeah, you're moving forward. You have this gift, Capricorn, that people need to learn. Something about not looking back. You're like, I'm not looking back. Oh, we Cappy. You're in love with the star. Yeah, high priestess. Or somebody's in love with you. I'm talking to a divine masculine Capricorn, okay? Whatever this is, you got a big payout coming. You could be thinking to sell some land, buy some land, start a business. Um, something that's been a long time coming. Whoever this person is that was sneaking deceptive, they were energetically like a block. Like they had some type of soul tie to you or they could have did some type of work on you. Why would you try Cappy? Do you know that Cappy is a gatekeeper? Cappy is that keep that energy type of an energy. You don't come up against no cap. They going to feed you back the same energy that you was giving them. Turn around and laugh at your ass. Oh my God. Somebody wanted you in poverty. That was never going to happen. It was, listen, I'm getting witchcraft to the witchcraft to the highest point of witchcraftity. Is that a word? Witchcraftity? Pistivity? Crafty? If it's not, we're making it a word today. Listen, something was a failed attempt. Something didn't work out. Something, somebody, listen, let me tell you something, Kathy. You released something under the moon. And what you released was everything that was owed to you. Ten of Pentacles is generational wealth. Something that you've been waiting for is about to manifest. I just heard September. You could have had to go to court or some type of appeals process for some money. Money, money, money. Yeah, I'm hearing money. Money. This is all I'm hearing. Money. Yeah. That's all I'm getting. I'm like, what am I hearing? Money. Money. Financial stability. Money. Money. Somebody from the past. Yeah, you moved on from. You're at peace with your past. Show me this person. Who is this sneaky and deceptive person? Just for shits and giggles. Because Kathy is laughing. Yeah. Somebody was revealed. You could have been married to this person. This person could have did something. Listen, this person did not want to ascend. You could have thought this was your divine counterpart. Masculines, you could have thought this was your divine counterpart. Divine feminine Capricorns, you could have thought really and believed that this person was your divine counterpart. They could have very well been some type of a lesson and or soulmate, but this person refused to change and or go within. All the while, they abandoned you, wanted you to be in some type of poverty, okay? You could have been married to this person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody wanted you in poverty. You like, but I'm the queen of pentacles. What the hell are you talking about? I've manifested abundance. Spirit says what I'm saying is the truth. Whoever this person is that you had to leave behind, you got king of swords on that ass. You like, you broke, busted, and mother freaking disgusted. Blech, I'm going to throw you up. And yeah, I'm going to need you to keep that same energy. Kathy, y'all need to get a t-shirt that say keep that energy. Because they always trying to give you some bad rap. They're like, oh, there's Cappy. They're the devil. No, it represents desires. What you do is you mirror it back to people what it is the hell they got going on. A December Capricorn took down a January Capricorn. Period. Yeah. You could have been married to this person. This person wanted you. Show me this person. Somebody, yeah, they're in heavy regret. This person could be going through health problems. They could be getting put out of a place. They could be drinking, sinking, stinking, skipping baths. Something. That they... <laughs> Whatever it was that they wished for you is returning back to them a thousand fold. You said, thank you, most high Yah, that this shit is going back and this person won't stop calling you. 
The person wants to FaceTime you because they want to see if you're laid up with somebody else. Oh, this person could have tried to come in your house. Oh, my nose is itching. And spirit blocked them. You like, don't bring your ass over here. I will shoot to kill. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, this was a failed attempt. It could have bothered you. You were married to this person, y'all. Who am I talking to? Or you treated this person like a wife or a husband. And this, this hierophant and this justice is a divorce. Somebody was like, you're going to fail without me. You're going to, somebody spoke some real nasty things over your name, Capricorn. I'm getting some witchy, witchy vibes. You took that witch and hung that bitch by her pinky toe in hell. You're like, what was that that you said? I'm going to need you to keep that same energy. I'm not even regretting the fact that I've encountered you. I got the lesson. I'm going to suck the meat and take the bones and throw them back at you. You can keep that energy. You took off the meat. You extracted the lesson. You decided to go within. That's not easy for Cappy. Low vibrational Cappies anyway, but high vibrational Capricorns, you're like, look, I'm done. Because you're like 10 times out of 10, I'm right. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Somebody could have been trying to astral project over you. Somebody could have done some type of binding spell. Why would they do that to this Capricorn? Who did this? This, this was a suicide. Yeah, you walked away. This person could have um, abandoned you initially, left you out in the cold, could have left you with bills to pay, all kinds of stuff. Now you're in the Eight of Cups and you're not looking back. You're like, no, I'm good. I mean, honestly, when you call me now, it kind of disgusts me. I'm a little disgusted. No, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but I'm a lot disgusted with your energy. Oh, I just, I'm getting a lot of sarcasm. I'm getting a lot of like, yeah, judgment is here, baby. Whatever it is, whatever it was, it's done. Stick a fork in it, baby. Take it out the oven. It's a wrap. It's a, it's, it's a wrap. I just heard, all I'm in like money. What's that song? Cause I'm fly like a bee in every rock night, honey, honey. I'm just keep hearing money, money, money. Somebody wanted you broke. Somebody wanted you sad. Somebody wanted you to not be able to get up and do what it is that you're good at. And you shook yourself. You could have gone into hermit mode for a long time. Now you like, I'm outside. While that person refused to go into hermit mode, refused to look at their ways, there's somebody that liked to argue. Ooh. I knew somebody like that. Left his ass in the dust. I left a few of them in the dust like that. Or every time you call them, they got low vibrational shit. I'm like, listen, my, my life don't revolve around you. I remember one time, Cappy, let me just tell you a little story. Because you know I love telling me little stories like Slick Rick. I was sitting in the car and I was singing a song and I was just having a good time. And I'm sitting next to, you know, a soulmate that ain't fully awakened. that I know is still in a karmic cycle, addicted to the karmic cycle, down there suckling the breast of Satan, right? And I'm aware of it and I know that my day is coming and I'm not going to be with you no more. But I'm just enjoying the moment singing the song. This person was so paranoid. Oh, you singing that song about me? Like, shut the up. Why do you think that everything I say and or do is about you? That is the most irritating, undesirable personality ever. If you want to run me off, do that. Because I'm so honest and blunt. All you got to do is come to me and talk to me. Hey, you know that reading you did? Was that about me? No, bitch. What you talking about? Like, you really irritate. Why do you think that all I wake up and all I do is think about you? It's the delusions of grandeur. Do not put yourself that high rank in my life where you're not even putting yourself high rank in your own life. Okay, that was a random ass story. I don't know what Capricorn's gonna do with that. Somebody's gonna toss it in the basura. Somebody's gonna take it and apply it to their life and they can relate to it. Listen, it's a, this is the energy I'm getting. This person just thought they was everything. Like, ew, no. How you gonna put yourself before the most high God? You want to be my God too? Yeah, it's a hell to the no. This person wanted a new beginning. This person could be having some type of dreams and nightmares that you didn't move forward. Oh God. And that you got the ace of pentacles. You're like, nah, I don't want no new beginning with you. What they did was they left you time to think. 
left you time to heal, left you time to breathe, left you time to really see the situation from a bird's eye view. And when you did, you walked right into this star energy. Whoever this new lover is, okay, this is somebody that's spiritually lined up like you are. Yeah, Queen of Cups, I cannot make it up. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, this is a divine soulmate. <laughs> you could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with the Pisces. But it's definitely some earth and water energy here. There's a Capricorn that's mating up with a Pisces. That's your divine feminine. There's a Capricorn that's mating up with an October Scorpio by way of this Empress. There's a Capricorn in January mating up with a July Cancer. There's a December Capricorn mating up with an October Scorpio. Ooh, we thank you for the downloads. Only of the highest of white lights. You could be in the public eye. That star energy. Why is that star here? Maybe this person's in the public eye. Whatever it is, they are. The, they're your wishes being fulfilled. You're moving forward with abundance and a family and happy. It is your nine of cups. Yeah. Somebody feels as though now they're in some type of competitive effort to get you back. Again, I'm getting delusions of grandeur. This person placed themselves on some type of high pedestal in your life. How kind of them. But it's a hell to the no for Capricorn. Like, that's what you think you are to me? That's where you need to be in my life? I can't support that energy. <laughs> it's not wise for me. As Cappy... To support that energy, especially when this union that I'm walking into, yeah, is starting off as a friendship. You could be celibate, not selling a bit, you know what I mean? While this person was out selling a little bit, selling a little bit of ass, thinking that they're hurting you, they're not. Ooh, show me what else I got to see. This could have hardened your heart. Your heart is opening, Cappy. Oh, Cappy. I want to hug you, Capricorn. Capricorn. Nah, not to be confused. <laughs> With corn on the cob or corn on the stick, which is my favorite, that Mexican corn. Ooh, baby. What is it called? Elote. My son calls it elote. Listen, yeah, everything is fine. This person thought you would always be there. Like, oh, this person gonna always be there for me. This person ain't gonna never move on. You like, okay, keep that same energy. You're coming out as yourself, Capricorn. You're coming out as yourself, Capricorn. There's really nothing else to say. You're going towards your desires. What a beautiful way to end your reading. I don't know what else I can say other than, listen, the lion's gate is open. You're aware of it. Some of you are unamused. You're like, oh, look at them running around. They needed the lion's gate. Look at them. You understand energy. You're like, look at them. They needed the lion's gate in order to move forward. We've been moving forward. Capricorn. And you're right. 10 times out of 10, Cappy, you're right. <laughs> you're watching people be under these illusions. You're like, oh, look at them all waiting for the 8-8 eight, eight in order to move forward. We moved forward long, long time ago. It's an illusion. You get it. But at the same time, you using the damn lion's gate in order to manifest a beautiful family, a beautiful marriage, beautiful love, a new job, just love. You're supporting those who support you. You're not wasting your time. You're not casting your pearls onto swine. If they don't get it, then they ain't got it. You like, that's it. I'm out. Eight of Cups. I'll catch you in the next life or never. How about never is a little bit better. Listen, 17, one plus seven is eight. Coincidental on the eight, eight? No, Cappy, you always like to play. You couldn't let the number eight come out in your energy. You just want to play with people. You like add the numbers up. <laughs> somebody call somebody a spiritual moron. Whoever this person is, you're like, yeah, you a spiritual moron. I should have never been with you, but I'm glad that I was. And I'm not angry anymore. And my heart is open. I'm following my intuition. I got love in my life and I'm moving forward. Listen, 17, it says the quality of your work. You can produce when you're going at it alone, Capricorn. It's almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency 
focus and skill. I am independent. Did I not just say you were working as something that you've mastered? Whatever this is, and then whoever this lover is, they're coming in to match your energy, your work energy. You two are working well together. This person could have been a burden. Very codependent. They were dealing with a different Capricorn at the time. I am independent. Listen, you like, look, I'm going to either go at it alone or the most high is going to send me somebody to be on my path. And it looks like you have love, money. When is this money coming? I just heard September. You could get news at the end of August about some money, pension, payout, lottery. Somebody need to go to the casino. Somebody got a lucky charm. Somebody is the lucky charm. You laugh because people don't get it. You see life a certain way and you're like, it's all good. Wow, Gabby. Eight, eight lines, Gabe. I love you. I love you. Until the next Cappy video. All my information is in the description box. Shout out to the Capricorns that donated to me. I love y'all. Email me. Let me know what's going on because this is looking damn good. And you're laughing. I just heard you're laughing all the way to the bank. Damn, Cappy. Damn. Did you shut it down like that? You did. You absolutely did. I love you. Until the next video, as always, Cappy, may peace always be with you.